Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day 10, the last day of the 10 day wire earrings to make and sell challenge. Be sure to watch till the end of the video to learn how to be eligible to win some great prizes in the challenge. Today we're making wire face earrings. You can use 18 or 20 gauge artistic wire. We'll need flush cutters, flat pliers, round nose pliers, and I have the beetle on bale making pliers. So we will get 12 inches of the 20 gauge artistic wire to start and we're going to hold both wires together and bend them about in the middle and curve out the edges. So now we are going to just bend it out and around to form the lips. So out and around. So we have the lips and curve it up towards the nose. And now we're going to bend the wire out and around to form the nose, curve it up towards the top. So at that point, we are going to start the curve of the eye. So we're holding them together again and using our bale making pliers to make a circle. So we're going to bring that circle around. That will be the eye and remove the bale making pliers and separate them to continue this circle. Make like a loop so that's complete. And from there, we're going to take a four millimeter miracle bead and just drop it down on that circle. So it's a stylized eye. And then I'm going to bend the wire up with the round pliers. And then I'm going to do some stylized hair. So we're just going to go back and forth with the round nose pliers to make it look like really funky hair. You can always put the two earrings back together to do the hair the same size. I actually decided to do mix, mix matched earrings for this one. So we're going to complete the hair and then we're going to help the bend of the wire with the round nose pliers and then just give it a good little tug to secure it on the vertical wire. And then we'll clip it with the flush cutters and push it in with the tweezer nose pliers. Now we need to make a loop at the top. So I'm using the beetle on bale making pliers to make a loop, hold it with the flat pliers and bring the end around. My end was a little short but you can wiggle it in with the flat pliers just to get it securely in place. So that's one way to do it. And then I decided to do mix and match earrings for this one instead of doing this, them the same. So this one is going to have two of those stylized eyes. So I'm going to make that circle the same size as I did in the first one, curve it out to make a cheekbone, and then we're going to curve it up for the chin and bring the wire around so we can make another eye. So with the bale making pliers, just do a complete circle. You can always use the end of a pen if you don't have these pliers. So wiggle them around so they're the same height. And now we can slide on our four millimeter beads. These are the miracle beads. You guys know they're my favorite beads. I love the turquoise color. So there's the eyes. And now we're going to curve the wire up over, kind of like an eyebrow. Bring the wire around and down. And then I'm going to form the nose. So bring the wire around and up. These are the precision round nose pliers. I'll link all my tools in the description below the video. So make any kind of shape that you want for the mouth. Just going slowly, bring the wire around, make sure it's in a good position. And for the top wire, we're going to curve it around at the top. So now we can do any little adjustments we want. And I'm going to do some of that stylized hair back and forth with the round pliers. 
bring the wire up, adjust it as you need. I'm going to do a little loop at the top. We need somewhere to put the earring hook and continue the hair a little bit more. Adjust it. Make sure it lines up. And then we're going to take that end on one side, bend it around, and we're going to secure it in place above the eye. So just give that wire a good little tug, press it in with the tweezer nose pliers, and then we can give it a little clip with the flush cutters. Pinch it in a little more with the tweezer nose pliers, and then we need to finish the other side. So I'm just going to twist it around just below the cheek there. So bring it around a couple of times. These designs are very stylized. You can sketch out something you want to do if it's a little different and then just follow the pattern with wire. So clip that end and pinch in the pokey end to finish it up. And then we're going to add the hooks so we have these funky mix match earrings. And now these ones are going to be symmetrical so I'm using 12 inches of 18 gauge wire. We're going to bend the wire out and around to make the nose and then get the bail making pliers and bring it around. From there we'll get our tweezer nose pliers and we're going to form the eye. So bend the wire up and around and then we're going to bend the both wires down. We have a stylized eye. You can do any little adjustments that you need along the way. Curve it out for the cheekbone. And then hold the wires and bring them up to form the lips. So just bend up and down, up and down with the tweezer nose pliers. And bend them out. And then you want to bend them back across and around to make those cute little stylized lips. So now we're going to curve the wire around. Hold it firmly with the tweezer nose pliers and bend the wire straight down and curve it out for the chin. So now we'll use our bail making pliers. And we're going to curve it up for the chin. Just wiggle it around. You might have to use a different part of the bail making pliers. You can adjust as you go. I'm just winging it with this one. I didn't really draw it out too much first. And we're going to curve it for the cheek. And now at the same level as the other eye. We're going to bend it down and around for the other eye. And then straight up and curve the wire. So we want these to be identical. So we're just going to line up the wires and clip them at the same position. We need enough wire to make a loop. So grab the end with the bail making pliers turn it around to make the loop and then you can do any little pressing with the nylon jaw pliers. You can give it a little hammer if you want to. So we're going to line those up and then I'm just going to grab a little piece of 22 gauge wire. You can use 24 gauge wire if you prefer. And we're going to twist it a couple of times to the left of the loop to hold the wires together. So just hold it firmly and twist the wire around so they're nice and secure. Just pull it through and around. You can go around two or three times and you can also wind it around to the right of the loop. Depends on how much wire you want to wind around. You just really need to hold those wires together. 
give them a good little tug. Then we're going to flip it over and clip them with the flush cutters on the back. Give them a good little clip and then press in those little pokey ends so it's not scratchy and they're nice and secure. Do any little adjustments you need and then add your hooks. I'll link up another tutorial for face earrings, wearing earrings, and a live stream where I did some troubleshooting for some other face ideas. The challenge starts on June 1st, 2024. Make one pair of earrings from each day to be eligible to win some great prizes, including wire and tools from Beadalon, jewelry and wire art from my Heather Boyd Wire Etsy shop, and templates, tutorials, and eBooks from my Etsy DIY shop. I will be doing a random draw for winners of the prizes on Saturday, June 15th at 12 noon Eastern time. Be sure to join the Facebook group for my 10 day challenges to share photos of your creations. If you don't have Facebook, no problem. You can email me photos of your work at the end of the challenge to be eligible for prizes. For the duration of the challenge, you will be able to ask any questions about selling jewelry in the Facebook group. And I encourage you to share your wins when you sell some of your earrings. All the details are down below in the description of this video. Have fun with the challenges and I can't wait to see what you create.